Yeah. Hello people. Today we can discuss on the data set. So how we can create the data set in the Pega. So let's check. So from the data model, you can create the data set. Okay. So yeah. So let's proceed and we can create the data set. So right click on this data set to create the data set. So here I will use it as a test in order to for testing. And in the database, uh, in the type, you will be having a various features, right? So here you will be having a database table. Here we will be having, you know, DBM kind of thing. And over here, uh, you can do it in the file systems as well, uh, so that you can save it back and you can upload and import as well. And it's like a general kind of thing, wherein uh, you can use this business directory, okay, kind of thing. So in order to integrate with the, uh, you know, social networking apps, you can very well do with the. Uh, Facebook and as well as a uh, YouTube as well and if you want to streaming service as well like you know Kafka you can very well do so uh, right now we will be going with the database table so yeah let's check by uh, let's click this and let's uh, you know select this uh, this one as well yeah this context uh, right now we are in this context yes so this is our context now I will create and open yeah so let's it uh, you know automatically added this uh, you know pyid and uh, so yeah so what is in the partition key means so if you have a some you know large data large volume of data so you can uh, just you know uh, partition uh, the data based on the keys as well so now pega also recommending us to use this partition key if you have a uh, millions of records or else we can have you know large amount of uh, you know data if we have okay so right now i'm uh, ignoring this thing and uh, i will create a uh, yeah so whatever the configurations are there we have just you know configure and we can save yeah okay so as soon as we save right now we will be having this uh, run option so uh, wherein if for suppose if you just you know click uh, click on this run right now you will be having this operations wherein you can select this browse browse by keys okay so when you just see this right so uh, it will be uh, you know replicate uh, like to the report definition so in the report definition what will happen just we can browse that right okay so uh, we can't able to save the data uh, back to the dbm and as well as you can't able to delete as well right and uh, you can't able to truncate and you can't able to uh, you know uh, whatever here the features are available right so we can't able to do with the uh, you know standalone report definition okay so in order to save it back then again we need to depend on the activity isn't it so instead of those things right you know combination of the report definition uh, or else you know data pages or else we can say uh, you know uh, activity okay so all these things instead of all these things now pega has introduced the data set it's a beautiful data set so wherein you can browse you can delete you can truncate and you can save it as well so let's go back to this thing browse so let's fetch uh, here you can uh, you know uh, uh, customize this thing okay so based on that yeah let's keep as is a 50 and uh, this nothing but uh, the clipboard page if you have a certain page then you can uh, you know customize you can configure this page so right now I am not doing any sort of you know uh, edits over here let's get that. yeah see here so whatever the results we are just you know keeping over here so automatically it got stored so right now we have only 31 results so that's why it is having only 31 so if you have a more than 50 so we as we have you know customized up to the maximum limit of 50 right so it will be storing only 50 so that is the uh, you know uh, this context of this data set okay so if you just click on this so now yeah so now your data set has been ready okay so this data set you can use it in the activity as well like you know we will be having an activity method called data set execute you can use and uh, in the data flow you can very well use in the data flow as well so in the data flow you will be having that you know data set option you can very well use it as a output or else input as well okay so if you like this interesting yeah so keep uh, you know like this video and share and as well as comment and if you want more videos like this you please comment uh, so that you know I can prepare for you and I can uh, you know future uh, in future i will be creating more like these videos okay yeah thanks for your time and thanks for your patience yeah thank you